New at 6, the victim of a beating by Davidson County Sheriff's officers is one step closer to a very large settlement. After nearly five years, Metro Nashville government is prepared to pay $160,000 as part of a civil rights lawsuit. News 4's Edward Birch is live at the Davidson County Sheriff's Office. Uh, Edward, there's video of the beating. Yeah, and Lauren, we asked for a copy of that video, but since it's part of a criminal investigation that's ongoing, the sheriff's office has not released us to us just yet. Now, Jeremy Snipes and Sean Lloyd face assault charges and will be in court later this month. The legal department for Metro says that these officers didn't have the required hours of training. January 1st, 2014, Timothy Warren was brought into the old Davidson County Jail for public intoxication. According to Metro Legal's analysis, while being booked, an officer punched Warren in the face. Two officers pinned Warren to the ground, while the third slammed his legs on the ground, and a fourth pepper sprayed him. Warren suffered a broken and dislocated ankle. Jeremy Snipes and Sean Lloyd were both charged with aggravated assault and got out on a $2,500 bond. The affidavits are sealed due to a grand jury indictment. Timothy Warren filed a civil rights lawsuit against Metro claiming the officers used excessive force and weren't properly trained. Tony Wilkes, chief of corrections for the sheriff's office, says their administration dropped the ball when disciplining the officers involved. Metro Legal found the officer who punched Warren in the face was given a five-day suspension, but that officer wasn't actually suspended because of procedural mistakes by the sheriff's office. We had some issues within our internal systems where our systems failed. Now, Metro's law department is set to settle Warren's civil rights case for $160,000 for medical expenses, pain and emotional distress, plus Warren's attorney's fees. John Cooper, director of Metro's law department, says the video of the beating speaks volumes. Um, a jury could still find that force to be excessive. Uh, Snipes and Lloyd are set for trial on January 28th. Warren's attorney said he would not comment just yet until the settlement, settlement is finalized. Also, the attorneys for Metro Lincoln would not comment as long as the ongoing criminal investigation is taking place. Tom and Lauren. Edward Burch live for us tonight. Edward, thank you.